So this is a span view across three monitors. Um, and this is my desktop computer. And uh, this right here is the laptop. And one of the things that I love about Windows is that what they've decided to do was um, similar. See, they started it in Windows 8 where you would sign in and most of your information was kept on the cloud so that this way, um, whatever you would do on one of your computers would be mirrored on another. And one thing I just realized was that, um, you know, even your desktop background, like for instance, uh, this is a really nice one, you know, this girl jogging right here. If I change this by personalizing it, and I change this to another um, nice background, as you can see, it spans across all of the screens, this person, and then once the internet filters it, it goes to the laptop automatically. The same thing happens with your Microsoft Office 360 account. Now, they are making strides to make the Xbox One more like uh, the PC because they're bringing keyboard and mouse support to Xbox One. And on top of that, they're trying to increase the amount of playability between your PC and your Xbox One. So I would like to see more features such as you should, if you're a kid or a student and you're in a college, you should be able to um, type documents on uh, Xbox uh, one, you really should be able to. I think that would be incredible if you could do that. See, I love that that three monitor view. It's going to filter down to wow, that that's cool, <laughs> isn't that cool? But uh, the way I see it is, the Xbox One should have printer support. The Xbox One should have keyboard and mouse support, and because of the USB system, you should be able to use that as its own computer. And uh, that's you know that would be a great thing because it would help college students who want to have an all-in-one PC solution and a gaming system for the downtime when they're in school, that would help everybody to be able to keep all their documents. They'd be able to keep it in their Xbox One. It would automatically filter up to their tablets. It would automatically filter to their laptops as well. I was able to purchase this battery right here. And this battery is a brand new lithium ion battery. So now whatever uh, storage capacity that this computer had before, as far as power goes, now it has all of that power back. And um, with this new battery, it can you know last about two hours per charge, maybe a little bit longer, depending upon the power settings and the power management of Windows 10. I have never been impressed with an operating system as much as I've been impressed with Windows 10. I think the last time I felt this good about an operating system was Windows XP, which was a massive upgrade over Windows 98. Now, um, this laptop right here is an older laptop, which um, because I, and I, I showed you my uh, DJ equipment and everything, I showed you what I plan to do, but uh, basically this laptop I'm going to use in um, the DJ. And uh, this is going to be on top of the uh, Mac as far as basically I'm going to use this is like a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm going to use this drive to store music specifically. But um, this this computer will basically be like one big music box. So basically, if we go to systems, you can take a look at the uh, system. I um, upgraded this computer with two gigabytes of RAM because I believe it only came with two gigabytes of RAM when it only had Windows 7. And uh, Windows 7, uh, when you know what? In fact, this computer didn't come with Windows 7. This computer came with Windows Vista. And um, basically, I upgraded this computer. This is a Core 2 Duo, and this is a T550 processor at 1.83 gigahertz. This is not like a gaming machine or anything, but and I know the first question most of you people want to ask is, oh, will it play Minecraft? Yeah, it'll play Minecraft. Now, this is the 32-bit operating system. When you're using a, a Core 2 Duo, I guess I'm gonna get rid of this Windows Vista sticker, but when you're using a low-end processor, Windows 10 is actually pretty good with uh, low-end computer systems, but if you go to Walmart, what you really should do is just like I did, you should buy Core i3 or Core i5. If you buy anything less than a Core i3 or a Core i5, what's ultimately going to happen is, you know, those low-end processes that they sell on laptops for $300, you're going to be disappointed, you're going to 
complain, you're gonna say it's slow. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any more computer equipment for the business that I'm doing, but uh, if I do, most likely it'll either be Core i5 or Core i7 or better. This laptop is pretty old, but one of the reasons why I love Hewlett Packard, like you see that, that scratch right there, that happened because when I um, use my thumb, it kind of scratches in there. But one of the reasons why I love their equipment is because they use pretty high quality components. Like for instance, there's an Altec Lansing speaker system in here. And this is one of the older models, the DV, um, I think it was either six or 7,000. But um, this had the, the touch panels right here for a touch screen um, or touch panel uh, usage of uh, options. And it, it was always a pretty good computer and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be helpful as far as my uh, DJing goes once I learn how to use the machine. But as you can see, it is an older model. I think it's about five years old and it ha only had VGA and it only has expansion port. They don't even use expansion port anymore. It's also kind of heavy. It's a lot heavier than that Mac. This thing probably weighs about three to four times what that Mac weighs. But um, overall, it's a good system. And uh, Hewlett Packard, they put a lot of quality into their devices. And as far as if you want to take a look at task management, if you go down here, you left right click, you see the task manager. Um, in task manager, you can see that I love the Windows task manager. And I, I noticed in Windows 8 had a task manager similar to this. But what they've done is they make it very simple to see what your CPU is doing. Very simple to see what your memory is doing. Very simple to see what your hard drive or hard drives are doing. So if you have multiple hard drives, they'll say disk one, disk two, disk three, et cetera, et cetera. I like how it breaks down what's using memory. I like how it breaks down what's using CPU power. But um, let me tell you something, Windows 10, when Windows 8 came out and I first used Windows 8, I honestly wanted to hang every single person who was responsible for Windows 8. But now with Windows 10, all I want to do is find everybody, give them a nice handshake and give them a nice wet sloppy kiss right on the cheek. This is really a great operating system. In fact, Windows 10 runs better on this older Core 2 Duo than Windows Vista ran, and Windows Vista actually had lower system requirements. And I also love inside uh, Windows 10 how they have the Windows Defender. It's a lot easier to use. Like they have a notification system that pops up, says, hey, is there some uh, security problem? And this, that, and other. And um, I also love the new tiled view for most of the uh, uh, firmware, like your ethernet, your um, wireless system and everything. They've made it very easy. Because this is, re this is really designed for a tablet. Windows 8's problem was it was designed for a tablet but not good on a desktop. But this time around, they've designed Windows 10 to know whether or not you're using a tablet or not. So it has quick features such as airplane mode, and uh, it makes it so that if you're on an airplane, you could turn off the uh, Wi-Fi when they tell you, you know, you have to turn off the Wi-Fi. But um, if you have not upgraded to Windows 10 and you were on the fence and you were worried and you were like, oh, I don't want to upgrade to Windows 10. It's going to screw up my computer like that piece of shit Windows 8 did. Well, if you were worried about that, you have nothing to worry about. This is exactly the operating system you want to have. Everything about I, I can't really find anything to complain about at all and that's saying something because even with the $1,500 Mac that we just got for the DJ I'm it, It's fast because of the SSD and keep in mind you can always if you have an older laptop You can replace that hard drive with an SSD and a, a 120 gigabyte is only about $55 but um, with that Mac the problem is that sometimes um, the operating system is overly simple and sometimes it can get annoying if it crashes while trying to uh, use Flash and Java and certain things that you know Mac doesn't support very well as an operating system. But uh, let me tell you something, Windows 10 has made me extraordinarily happy and um, I like Hewlett Packard's products and with Windows 10 they, they just fly. The shutdown and the startup times are really good even though this is an older hard drive I think it's a 5400 rpm so if I shut down this computer shutdown time is relatively short and it's smooth 
and uh, startup time is short and smooth too. Meanwhile, with Windows 7, Windows 7 took almost twice as long, and Windows 8, if you had a low-end CPU, took three times to four times as long. You know, but um, I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Very good work, Microsoft.